Looks like he's going to knock it down. Good left. He's 85 yards. Two looks. As it gets tighter, how many looks does he take? He took one right there. But he'll take five on the hole. Daly makes bogey, drops back to minus 10, and his lead shrinks to two. Now back to the tee. And the siege, the siege gun really needs to find a fairway. And that is enormous and perfect. Which is six yards from the left-hand edge of the green, eight yards from the front. Oh, that was just a 151-yard pitching wedge. It's, it's laughable for we people who need a six iron. But it's only seven feet, I think he's gonna make it. That's the way he started. 11 under par. He's first advantage again. Into the wind. That may be too much. We watched Stadler and Litsky before him hit five. to the hole. He's got to make pars in this position. He can't fire at flag sticks today, unlike in days past. Could it instead chip stop on the fringe where he could chip it? John Daly now from the bunker. It looks real good. We often want to overlook his short game, but he's got a great touch around the green. Even though this week he's been in bunkers four times now, counting the first hole of the day. Kenny, he can't get too fast today. He has to keep his rhythm that he's had before, but I'm just interested to see how many looks he starts to take when it gets a little bit tighter. You want to make sure his routine stays the same. Five, six iron, seven irons. Let's see what Cosmic does here. What's this? <laughs> They just love to hoot and holler at this guy. Uh, just, just in the mini rough, not bad. I imagine that's gonna be nothing more than a wedge or a nine iron. But this is the whole point of the whole golf tournament. Kenny's in the rough. They both have about similar type lies. Daly's got really a relatively easy shot because it's an eight iron. Kenny couldn't put it on the green because he was hitting a four iron. You know, there's a thing right there we talked about yesterday, too. You know, he choked up on that eight iron. You could see him. He had about an inch of that butt of that club out of there. He made a great play at 17 yesterday. I don't know if you caught that one or not. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, there it is. He's walking. Laying up, I'd imagine. It's his only play then. He's got 304 yards into the wind of the flight. Can't, no way, any human being can possibly get there. <laughs> so he's got a three iron, and he's laying it up, and it's a good, smart play right down the middle. Well, that's, that shows that he's using his head as well as his force and strength. Now, John Daly, minus 10 on the par fives, as you might imagine. Made an eagle at the ninth. That's a very this soft looks good. from 60 yards. Beautiful. Well, that was finesse. That, that was as soft a shot as you could wish to see. Wonderful. He goes to 12 under. And the field is left sprawling in his wake. The only thing he'll knock down today is the blimp. Wang. Four iron right in the middle of the green. Well, what I can say is on that one, one that Bobby is that not only is he playing well, he's now he now proved he's really thinking well. From this length here, he's looking get it around the hole. Don't get too cute and don't get charging. Hold out. Not bad. And daily for his par. Behind the ball, took one look again. Well, he's taking more than two for the play at the seven. All right, Jim Nance, John, daily tee shot here at seven. That is golfer's right. That's a seven. Very nice. 
he just doesn't beat himself, he's okay right now. Get it here at seven. Oh. Distance good. Direction a little wide. Back at seven. He's made most of them. What a great touch. Get him out! Right down the middle. And 320, same line as yesterday. <laughs> Kenny, look at this. He shouldn't hit a one iron, Gary. You gotta hit a driver. I think he should hit a driver, yeah. Look at this. He's got a sandwich again. This is unbelievable. <laughs> Here he is. Just a little wedge, I would imagine. Probably a sand wedge, Bobby. 147 yards, pitching wedge, right of the hole. And this is a safe play. Good shot. I could have bet he would be right of the hole today after hitting it left in the water yesterday. And there it is in the blue. And you can see the difference, and you can see why this guy is annihilating this golf course. He starts walking, he knows he made it. And that's the thing we've got to do, John. Just shut that thing down a little bit. There he is right here. John Daly, five-shot lead. Your earmuffs on and put your stopwatch on the hang time. And here we go. Ooh, that is a loud noise. He's hooked it. And I believe he's still in bounds. Bailey's got a five iron from the bunker. The very closest he could hit this ball is about 40, 50 feet from the hole. He has no realistic chance of hitting it at the flag from this angle. He's caught it very clean, and it's, it's the exact line that he could take at the flag. Oh my. Did it get up, man? I don't see. I don't see. It didn't get up. John Daly was not in the bunker, as uh, I reported earlier. Well, he's got a longish putt for a birdie, but... Are you there, Bobby Clampett? Yeah, have been 15 feet, double breaker, difficult putt. Well, to Daly, the par, par five is almost a bogey, but he can afford a couple. He holds out with great resolution, and he enjoys a four-stroke lead with nine holes to play. Well, Daly's tee shot. Looks to be fine. Pan, he's outdriven Kenny Knox by 45 yards. He's got one four to the hole. Going a little right, maybe long. Well, you called it. It's patting this ball. Patting Kenny? Well, he left a little, little challenge. Watch this. Just take one look. Bang. Bang. That's too simple. Has captured the imagination of these gallery fans this week. Watch this one. Left center of the fairway, still climbing. Well, that's in the fairway bunker, just left of the landing area. Flag stick here, just over the front edge. Bobby Clampett. 102 yards. Famous L wedge. Difficult pin placement today. He'll be a little left of the home. Careful, careful. Don't get too careless now. Ooh, try to make the whole round. <laughs> One under par, that's par today. Well under in all. And now. Another UFO.
That wasn't a good break there. He just kept oh, right into the long stuff. This is a sandwich. Um, and the lie is not good. If you had to hit anything more than an 8-iron, you couldn't get it on it. I could start a lawn with that dip they just made there. This is a very good shot from that oh, spot. That's unbelievable. Unbelievable. The strength and muscle he needed to get that ball out of that lie was intense. That's, look at that. Bring that over, Squeaky. I need that. I need that. I at least on a nice back lawn. Well, let's go to Gary first on the daily putt for Bertie. Well, like Raymond said, this guy is doing it his way right here. He is playing a wonderful round of golf. He's like tapping. Nice little 15 inches straight up the hill. Whoa, when he pours those in. <laughs> 172 yards. Holy mackerel. You're the oh! Really? Daly's phenomenal putt and the way he's got an idea. Will he start? Yes, he's walking. <laughs> he's walking again. Pumping that fist. Get him in, Johnny! Everything sounds so solid. Maybe because that's what it is. Look at that tee shot. Oh, he almost caught the scorers. He has. Yeah, 231. John Daly, 167 yards now, 9 iron. Caddy, squeaky toe. Got him by 64 yards. It's going a little bit right, but it should catch the slope and drill it down. Birdie putt, the way he's rolling. 14 on the step meters, 10.6, about average. That's the first one he hasn't run by the hole. That's Matt. right. One look and go. Look at this. I mean, that's about as simple of short putting I have ever seen. What amazes me most of all, in addition to the power, is the balance. He's flown a bunker that is 280 yards to carry from the tee. He's left himself with a mid-iron to the green. The 220, he's got a 5-iron. The wind's helping him just a little bit, right? It's a big 5-iron for even John. And it's going right at the flag, drawn just a hair. I think it's long enough. It's pin high left, but he's chipping right back up the hill. He's got great hands on the shot. You know, he thought he made that. As soon as he chipped it, he started walking. The lead is six. John Daly with a birdie move to three under par through 15 holes, 14 in all. I absolutely love it. Get him out! They call him Wild Thing. <laughs> you make my heart sing. You make everything short. This pin is way back in the right. Water's to the to the right of this pin. He'll be shooting it flat. That was not to the left of the flag. That was right at it. That was a nine iron. Uh, the rubber bands are probably all busted on. He's got to go through a dozen around. Well, he's done it again. But this time, not so bad, because on the floor of that bunker, he's got about a 12-foot wall in front of him. Well, he played a quite marvelous shot yesterday from a downhill lie in the grass with the bunker and the wall facing him.
Well, he's left himself a sizable part coming back. Mm. 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 Back at 17. That was the double bogey. I started the first hole on Thursday, let this, and I'm going to go just as hard here at the 72nd. this on the putting surface and it's a good line left center of the green to be about the right this watch it feed perfect. down now get up there same place Litsky made his putt from and now listen the applause won't stop Kiss of the Wanamaker Trophy for the champion from Crooked Stick. <laughs> 